here we are then at the Grove Medical Centre. Yes. And we're talking to Shenzhen and Maria from Level 2. You've got a new thing going on and this is it. it Tell is. me what you're doing up here at the Grove. Okay, so this is our Best Spoke Youth Bus, which is lottery funded. Mm -hmm. We've had it now for best part of two years, but only now able to use it properly because of COVID. Right. This is a new pilot project working in partnership with the brilliant staff at the Grove Medical Centre, offering an outreach community service primarily aimed at children and young people where they can come along here on a Friday evening, have some fun, got music, free hot chocolate. But the main aim of this service is to support young people's mental health and sexual health. These are big issues, aren't they, in these times? Both they, of those things are big issues. They really, really are. And, you know, it's, it's always been an issue. But um, now, I think, after the two years that we've had, it's, it's even more important that young people have a safe space to go with trusted adults that they can form trusted relationships with and um, just chat, just begin to talk about how they're feeling, any challenges they've got. And we don't have all the answers, but what we do have is the opportunity to resource those young people so they become less reliant on statutory services and more confident and self, you know, raise their self-esteem. Both of you have been working with young people a long time, haven't you? You, Shaz and, and you, Maria, as well. T yeah. Tell us a bit about what you do. Yeah, so I'm a school nurse for Suffolk County Council, mm -hmm. and um, so I've, I've asked my full-time row, and I'm also a children's nurse as well, so right. I was working on the children's ward. So, yeah, so I've got a lot of experience working with direct, with young people, and, you know, it's about utilising the skills they have and empowering them and teaching them how to, you know, to, to cope, distract, you know, whether it's, it's, it's self-harming, whether it's eating disorders. This is, this is the range of what we see children presenting in school today with and we want to be able to empower them to recognise it and to cope with it correctly and then if, if required, to signpost them to the, the correct professionals that we can, you know, that can support them. So you're here outside the Grove. Yep. When and how often? So to start with, at the moment, for the next six weeks, we'll be here every Friday from around sort of five, quarter past five, through till sort of half past six, seven. Mm -hmm. um, but we can alter that. This is really a first attempt uh, to get it right in terms of the day, the location, the time. We will go to where the young people want, want to come. Um, so yeah, we, we thought Friday nights would be a good opportunity yeah. and um, hopefully lots of young people and families even will come and chat to us. And it's really just an open house to talk to it you. Really it really is an open yeah. house. The bus is resourced, it's got free hot chocolate, it's got PlayStation, we've got games, we've got music uh, and us. Yes. <laughs> What, what could you want? <laughs> and we want to recognise that fam it's family, so it's, not, it's, 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 it's a family thing as well. So, so it is the young person will go home to a family and we want those families to know that there is, there is help for them to recognise as well. You know, it isn't just about closing that door and sending them home. It's about, you know, if that mother or that dad or, you know, or that carer requires, you know, signposting and support to deal with a particular area that... You know that they, they, they display at home we're there for that as well and so that we, we can be engaged with parents as well and the other thing to bear in mind is it's quite often difficult for young people to talk to people who they see as being a bit official like yeah. doctors and yeah exactly yeah. and that's one of the lovely things about level two youth project because we're not school we're not parents we're not the police we're not probation we just sit really nicely in the middle um, so that hopefully young people will come and come and chat to us Shows we're inside your little bus. We are, I love it. It's incredibly comfortable, isn't it? It's nice. really comfortable. And you've got everything in here. We've got PlayStation, TV, music, hot chocolate, games, resources. The lot. And you've even got your own team. I've got my own Children's team. nurse, yes. school nurse. I know. And we've got phone charging points all yes. around the bus. Because right. that's what, one of the things that young people mm. said that the bus must have. Right. So... Now, you don't use this as a bus, though. This no. is actually a, a, a meeting space, it's isn't it, really? It's a meeting space, yeah. yeah. We can't have passengers when the bus is moving. And right. We, but we do have another mini, mini bus, which is 17 seats. Right. Um, and again, that's a community resource. Um, but yeah, this is, this is for working with small groups inside, outside, one-to-one -one chats parents. We'll be here every Friday for at least the next six weeks uh, from sort of half past five, a quarter past five, half past five for an hour, hour and a half. Just come down and see us.